Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a random password generator. We're going to be using Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition for this. You can download it for free from Microsoft and I'll put the link in the description for the download. Okay, so this is an example of what we're going to be creating. I'll also make this available for download if you want it. So, it's a really simple interface. There's a length here that the user can choose, so they can choose the length of the password. I've defaulted it to 30, and if we click generate, it'll generate some random numbers and letters uh, 30 characters long. And click, click in generate, and it'll generate new ones. These are really good passwords because no one can really guess a completely random string of letters and numbers. The longer, the better, but you don't want to go stupidly long. So, go to Visual Basic, and we'll need to create a new project needs to be a Windows Forms application and you can just give it a name random password or whatever ok so we're just going to resize the form to look nice and you saw it had just a simple interface we just need a button a label and two text boxes just stick the label up here just set its text to length text box in here for the use, use it to enter the length and we'll default it to 30 and I'll just call this txt length and then the button for when they generate the password so we'll just call this button generate and we'll just call it give it some text gen generate now the final text box is where the password will be displayed we need to make it multi-line in case the user selects one that's longer than one line and it looks nice like that fills the form a bit so we just need to give this a name as well txt password we'll call that okay so we've got all the text boxes and buttons we need it's going to be when the user clicks this button here that, the, that it generates the random password so we'll just double click on that first in the code we need to declare some variables and you'll see why I'm declaring these variables as we go along but I'll try and explain first of all we need to create a array where the usable chars usable characters sorry, will be stored so we'll call this usable chars as, as a string next we need to include a new random uh, operator so we'll go dim random class as new random next we need to specify a list of usable characters I'm just going to copy the usable characters over because it will take a long time to write so we're just going to do uh, dim chars list is equal to that now this is just A to Z in capitals, A to Z in lowercase, numbers 1 to 9 in naught. I'll make that available so you don't have to type that out either. Next we'll need a string for the final password to be built on. It will be built one letter at a time. So we'll do final password as string. I'll make it equal to nothing. Actually, yeah, we'll make it equal to nothing. And then uh, we'll need a number which will help us build the password and you'll see why we have this in a minute and it wants to be an integer and we'll just make it equal to 0 to start with ok so in the code here first thing we need to do is split this list up here so we're going to do and then store it in the array if we want usable chars and we're going to be using the split function for this and we want to split the chars list by the commas so now this that will set this uh, this is an array with all these uh, letters and numbers in next we're going to uh, set the numbers and the final password back to nothing so when they start it will be clear so we want final password will be equal to nothing and then the number will be equal to naught 
Next we need to check to make sure the text box has got a value bigger than Norton because there's no point in having a password that's not characters long. So if the uh, text box length text is bigger than naught, then we'll run the code and stick an else in here. Else we'll give them a message box saying password password lead needs to, to be together than zero. So that just stops from entering a stupid number uh, lower than one or sorry. Okay so now we need to get it to build the random password. So we're going to be using the for loop here i as an integer equal to one to the uh, number of the length, so that will be txt length dot text, and then we'll have the code here. Okay, so so we're going to first of all need to choose a random. So we're going to need to choose a random number. So we're going to be using the random class for this. And we're going to going to be getting a number between naught and sixty one. Now there are sixty two characters in here and it starts from naught, so we go from naught to sixty one. Next we need to build the final password, so okay, final password is equal to itself plus the usable chars so it will generate a random number between those which then will select from the array so if it was uh, this was 2 it would select B if it was 4 it would select D etc now once it has finally built the password we need to set the um, text the password text box to the value of that password so we're going to, just going to be doing txt password dot text then we'll set it to final password and that's really all there is to that so we'll test this now so we'll just generate a random password and there it is if we stick naught in there the password needs to be bigger than naught so we select 30 and it will keep generating passwords around 30 that's all there is. You can do the styling of the form, give it its uh, more appropriate text and a nicer look. But really, it's a simple tool. Uh, so, thank you for watching, and I'll make these available to download.